everyone and good morning. My name is Princess Becky. I'm here with Jenny Fiendish to talk about the horse expo. <laughs> how are you? I am great. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. What is it that you do? Uh, I do animal behavior. So I will do um, animal behavior training for multi multiple species. So dogs, cats, horses, birds. If it's an animal that needs help, I can help with that. How did you get interested in behavior? How did you get interested in behavior? Yeah, so I, um, even as a child, I was really interested in training and um, understanding what animals were thinking. Um, so I would do things like make agility courses out of just rocks and plants and things in my house. Because um, we lived in the mountains, so we didn't, ha I didn't even know agility was a thing. Um, and I started out doing that and, you know, training my dogs to do tricks and things um, of that sort, um, even though we lived in the mountains and our dogs just ran wild. Um, as I became older, I became a veterinary technician and started working in veterinary clinics and became the person who everybody talked to about behavior and training issues that they were having. And then I pursued my veterinary technician specialty in behavior um, and was awarded that in 2014. Um, I'm one of 16 people in the world that has that designation, so um, it was a lot of hard work and I love it, and I love behavior and I love helping people with their animals. That's awesome. Can you really train a cat? <laughs> yes, you can absolutely train a cat. Um, you can train any animal, um, and the way that we train them and the learning theory that we use and the training techniques that we use are exactly the same no matter what the animal is. Um, so whether it's a cat or a dog or a horse or a goat, um, I'm training my geese right now. Oh, wow. So yeah, so I have I have geese that I'm training, um, and I'm you know you just use the same principles of learning. You know every animal is a little bit different as far as what their motivations are. Um, obviously my goose is not a big fan of like meat, but he really loves corn and he really loves um, watermelon. So you know I can use that as a motivator for him. And just knowing their different body language is really helpful as well. Are behavior problems most caused by the owners? Yeah, so behavior problems are actually less caused by the owners and more caused by environment. That's enough. Thank you. Um, so behavior problems are uh, more caused by the environment, uh, by um, things that happen to the animal. Because Behavior is really molded by consequences. So if something happens and there's a bad consequence, then the animal's going to have a bad association with that. Most of the time, when I see behavior problems, and probably I'd say about 98% of the time, it's an environmental thing that has happened that has made the animal fearful. There's been some issues with um, socialization early on. Um, you know, and oftentimes we do have, you know, breed things. Our Sprinter Spaniels have some. Um, anxiety issues, um, as well as just genetics. You know, genetics plays a huge part in behavior problems. So it's not always the owner, and like I said, very rarely do I have problems where it's the result of the owner, uh, which is a really important thing because for the longest time we've been told if your dog is a bad dog or if he's aggressive, it's the yeah. owner's fault. And that really is not true in most cases, so. Who is your friend and can you tell us more about him? So my friend here is Stitch. Um, Stitch is uh, my heart and soul, and he came to me at three and a half weeks old. He was part of a um, litter of puppies that I fostered and raised and failed at the fostering because obviously I ended up with another dog. He is a Sholowitz Queenly, which is a Mexican hairless, um, and he is my little friend. He does tricks. He goes to expos with me, he goes to lectures with me, things of that sort. And he really is a good ambassador for what kind of relationship you can have with an animal. Um, he's never had any force-based training. Um, it's all been positive reinforcement. It's all been you know, just rewarding behaviors I want um, and changing behaviors that I don't particularly care for. Um, so he, he's just the love of my life, and he loves everybody. He pretty much thinks that the Horse Expo is the Washington State Stitch Expo, um, and that everybody's here for him. So yeah. <laughs> he, he just loves people. Hi, Mia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, we hope to see everyone out at the Washington State Horse Expo. Can I take a bye?